Welcome back. You made it to another edition of the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Coming up today, uh, history creeps its way into our brain on drugs story. A doctor delivers a baby and then delivers her own baby minutes later. Uh, also, what foods are millennials into? You would be surprised. Giving away money you know, sometimes makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Other times, well, it can make you feel like a real individual in our moment of duh. We have Question Impossible coming up. Also, do you know what's in today's weird holidays list? Do you? Mm, no? Well, then you're not psychic and you won't be listening to uh, – and you won't be celebrating, that is, one of our holidays. All of that and a whole lot more coming up on the Darren Marlar Radio Show, so stick around. And now another useless fact. University of Michigan study found that if a child is misbehaving, removing his tonsils might help. Although I'm betting just threatening to do that would be just as effective. It's the Darren Marlar Radio Show. You can catch up with it anytime at DarrenMarlar.com. Let's take a look at today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today is Wednesday, August 2nd. You have 144 shopping days until Christmas. And today is Make Some Old Fashioned Lemonade Day. You know, squeezing real lemons, using real sugar, real water. Now, it's kind of interesting. When I was growing up, I thought lemonade was made just by adding water. <laughs> that was the house I lived in. Everything was instant. Uh, go figure, huh? Now, here's a question for you, though. Why do they use artificial lemon flavoring uh, with the lemonade mixes, but then they brag about how they use real lemons for cleaning products? Have you noticed that? I mean, if you want authentic lemonade nowadays, you have to use a twist of mop and glow. Uh, today is National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. Personally, I prefer mine on pumpernickel, but you know, that's just me. And it is Psychic Week. It begins today. But then, if you're a psychic, you already knew that. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to listen to past shows, well, you can get them on my free mobile app. Just search for Marlar House uh, in your iOS or Android store. Uh, it's your phone your, your phone app store. It's free. Just search for Marlar House. M A R L A R, and then the word house. Well, in Indianapolis, when it came time for uh, for Mariel Slager Keller, a teacher at IPS Butler Lab School, to choose a flower girl and a ring bearer for her own wedding, well, the only kids that came to mind were her students. So she invited the entire class to be in her wedding. Twenty students walked down the aisle wearing all white, carrying garland. Keller said the kids and their families were part of the whole wedding planning process with me and gave me so much support along the way. They are a huge part of who I am, and it would not have felt right to not have them there. Uh, she teaches a combination of kindergarten and first grade students, so actually some of these students will have her as a teacher again this year, and boy will they have a lot to talk about. Hey, by the way, we are creating a Darren Marlar Radio Show fan club. Yes, well, actually, it's a fan of the month club. Uh, I'm only allowed 12 fans a year. Hey there, I'm Darren Marlar. Uh, according to a recent poll, one out of five Americans are in favor of bringing back the gas chamber. Wow. All right, yeah, uh, sure. I mean, Justin Bieber gets on my nerves, too, but that is kind of extreme, don't you think? I'm sorry. That was highly inappropriate. We got our birthday wrap-up coming up in just a moment. First, though, cosmetic surgeons. They have identified a new phenomenon among our computer-reliant generation. It's described as computer face. No, I'm not kidding. It's a real thing. They've noticed the, that sagging jowls and eye wrinkles are pretty common on women who spend their days hunched over computers. The sagging jowls, well, those are caused by constantly looking down, and that shortens the neck muscles, making the neck baggy. Now, the wrinkles, they're caused by people who squint and frown when concentrating on their computer screens. So, doing it for long enough or, or often enough, it makes those wrinkles and lines permanent. Yep, yep, I, I can hear my wife right now tossing the computer out of the second-story window. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hey, it's Darren Marlar, and if you live to your 80s, you will have acquired six and a half feet of nose hair during your lifetime. Aren't you glad you know that now? It's the birthday wrap-up for August 2nd, tw uh, 2017. Celebrating birthdays today, Hallie Eisen or Haley Eisenberg, that is. You, you might remember her as the little girl in the movie Bicentennial Man or How to Eat Fried Worms. Personally, I remember her, uh, remember her as the girl in those old Pepsi commercials. Today, she's 25. <laughs> that planet should feel old, doesn't it? Uh, from The Crow, Wicked Prayer, and uh, The Visitation, Eddie Furlong is 40 today. From Weeds, The West Wing, Fried Green Tomatoes, Mary Louise Parker is 51 and does not look a year of that. Uh, from Saturday Night Live and uh, the hilariously strange movie UHF, Victoria Jackson is 58. And from Diagnosis Murder and Boston Legal, Joanna Cassidy is 72. Today's question impossible, what is the strongest muscle in the human body? The strongest muscle in the human body? I will give you the answer to that coming up here in just a few minutes. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar, and if you like scary stories, well, you might want to check out my show Weird Darkness. In fact, I just posted a new episode on my website last night. It's called the uh, it's called the uh, what, what what what's it called? I've already lost. I've, it's been so long since I posted it. It's called the uh, the scratching. That's what <laughs> that's what it was. The scratching. I I, I wanted to say that. And I, it just would not come out of my mouth. Uh, uh, anyway, it's actually nine different paranormal stories all in one episode. If you want to check it out, it's WeirdDarkness.com. I should probably take a break now and try to give my tongue a break. But anyway, uh, I do have something to share. Uh, you know, we, we can't tell you that a good night's sleep most nights is going to increase your checking account bottom line or make you smarter, um, but it could very well make you healthier. So much healthier, in fact, you will live longer than those who skimp on sleep. Now, get this, though. It's not the sleep itself that keeps your heart healthy so you live longer. It's the lifestyle that you're more likely to lead if you sleep well. That's the word from researchers at the University of Delaware. They've concluded that the duration and timing of your sleep are closely associated with whether your behavior is heart healthy. Sleep deficits and poor quality of sleep, they've been linked to obesity and a myriad of health problems, but the study shows that when it comes to promoting healthy hearts, it's not a matter of getting more sleep. It's a matter of getting adequate sleep at optimal times. And doing that seems to reduce the kind of behaviors, those bad behaviors like smoking, sedentary lifestyles, poor dietary choices that put your heart in harm's way. The study found that those who sleep um, was either – if your sleep was either short or long and the night owls who went to bed later, they, those people were more likely than the adequate sleepers and those who went to bed earlier, uh, they, those people were allowed, uh, more inclined to smoke remain sedentary, and eat fewer fruits and vegetables. So I guess the point in all of this is get enough sleep, get an adequate amount of sleep, go to bed at a decent hour. Yeah, good luck with that. Giving away money, well, that sometimes makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? Uh, other times, though, it could make you feel like a real individual, like in today's moment of duh. I'm Darren Marlar. Uh, you can hear the show anytime if you want to. Just go to DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, in Seattle, a brewery is offering their employees puppy parental leave. It's a week off with pay when you adopt a rescue dog or adopt or rescue a dog. So, so, all right, so what? So you need a week off of work? No problem. Visit the dog pound. Okay, well, what if that dog gets hit by a car next week? Do you get another week off then for the funeral? And then what about you, when you get a new dog to replace that first dog? Then do you get yes yet an, ad an additional week? I mean, you could really take advantage of this. What foods are millennials into? Well, in a recent survey by Nation's Restaurant News that included over 170 brands, Red Lobster was ranked the top choice among 18 to 24 year olds. Red Lobster. So that surprised everybody, including Red Lobster. The, uh, the chain's CEO said that chasing the young crowd was never part 
of their strategy. And in case you missed that, the secret to reaching millennials is to ignore them completely. Say what? Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. It's time for uh, today's moment of duh. And giving away money, you know, sometimes it'll make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Well, maybe not in this story. A man stunned shoppers on a British street by handing out his savings to make people happy. Uh, this guy, Chris Algerdat, he withdrew just under $18,000 from his bank before dishing out the cash to amazed passers-by in Worcester, England. He got about $3,500 into his free-for-all when he was when he finally wised up and walked away with the rest of his money. Duh. A doctor delivers a baby and then delivers her own baby minutes later. That story is coming up. Today's question impossible. Uh, the question again was what is the strongest muscle in the human body? Well, the answer to that is the tongue, believe it or not. Say, if you're like most of us and within the sound of my voice right now, then you're about to hear what I have to say about what you're about to hear right now as you listen to what I am about to say. Say, are you tired of hearing people say? Say, I'm tired of hearing what people have to say. Are you tired of being tired of hearing people say? Say, I'm tired of hearing what people have to say. Then no wonder you're tired. When was the last time you had your car tired? When was the last time you had your car retired? Say, are you retired? Are you tired of being retired? Then never to worry again for you in a limited time only during this special ad and for the length of this special offer. Send cash or check your local listings for the difference in prices, George, when you and in the Evelyn Woods School of Double Talk. Remember it was said, say, he who does what he does, does. But he who does what he does best, does best. And how this applies to you included at no extra charge for only twelve ninety five more when you act now. So act now, now. So when I say, say, I'm tired of hearing what people have to say, you won't want to miss this special one-time offer like you did last time. So write or call today. That's T-O-D-A-Y and be sure to order at least six to eight weeks before delivery in most states, including California. So remember, it's not how you say it, it's how you say it. Hey, I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like a few laughs after my show, you can check out the Daily Dose of Weird News. I post a new episode every day if they're on my website at darrenmarlar.com. While nearly one in four parents, they will deny their children some basic school items as they continue to struggle to cover the cost of returning to school. Nearly three-quarters of parents uh, surveyed they feel that back-to-school spending this year is a financial burden. 27% of those parents say the costs will impact negatively on their household bills. Wow! Man, you know things are bad when you got to dip into your kid's college fund to buy him a protractor. Another back-to-school shopping tip. When you shop for school supplies, choose each item carefully. Okay, pencil, pencil eraser, pencil sharpener, pen, pen holder, backup pen, colored pens, notebooks, notebook binder, lined paper, ruler, compass, protractor, calculator, laptop computer, backpack, lunchbox. Because what you buy, you have to carry to school every day. Oh. Pencil. Another back-to-school shopping tip. From the station that believes pencils should retain their flavor till spring break. A date that took place on this day in history? It creeps into our Brain on Drugs story coming up. I'm Darren Marlar. If you'd like to be a part of the show, why don't you drop me an email? I'd love to uh, to read what you have to say about the show, and uh, I can add it to the email bag and share it with the rest of the world as well. So uh, drop me an email. Just go to darrenmarlar.com. D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Well, in Kentucky, uh, Dr. Amanda Hess, she's an obstetrician, and she was actually about to have her own second child when she heard an emergency unfolding in the birthing room next to hers. Well, knowing it would take longer for the on-call physician to reach the baby in distress than for her to jump in herself, she did just that. She left her own bed and went next door to deliver Lee Halliday Johnson's fourth child. And then, just moments later, her own contractions kicked in and she soon had her second daughter, Ellen Joyce. Uh, the uh, lady she helped, Johnson, uh, she later said, I appreciate what she did for my family, and it speaks a lot to who she is as a woman and as a mother, as well as a doctor. Now, as for Dr. Hess, uh, she admits that delivering somebody else's baby, something she does all the time, was much easier than taking part in her own baby delivery. Los Angeles, if you haven't heard, they're going to host the 2028 Summer Olympics. So, yeah. Olathe, Kansas has been snubbed again. Hey, you know what? They better start now if they ever hope to get that Olympic torch through LA traffic. This is your brain on drugs. 
Time for today's Brain on Drugs. And you know, every day when I talk about this, it's about people doing dumb things under the influence. But addiction, that is no laughing matter. If you or somebody you know needs help, there is a toll-free number that you can call. It's 1-800-438-0380. That's the Addiction Hope and Helpline, 1-800-438-0380. So today in history is one guy's brain on drugs. On this date in 2001, 16 years ago, a Muskegon, Michigan man was charged with unlawful use of a harmful device after he blew up his home while sniffing propane gas and smoking. Nobody was seriously injured in the blast, but it did blow the home off its foundation and damaged two neighboring houses. This is your brain on drugs. <laughs> Any questions? I'm Darren Marlar, and if you'd like to keep up with everything that I do, well, you can sign up for my newsletter. It's The Marlar Sheet. You can sign up for it at DarrenMarlar.com. Now available, socks that don't ever need to be washed. Sounds like the beginning of a joke or a parody spot, but no, this is a real thing. Steve and Jenny Whitley, they own an Angora goat farm, and they run mohair knitwear company Corey Moore in the UK and they created a line of mohair socks after the customers reported that their Cory Moore jumpers didn't pick up the same amount of odors that their other clothes did, and hence didn't require as many washes. Well, according to Steve, mohair fibers they don't trap the usual bacteria that causes problems with foot hygiene, which he says means that they can be worn day after day, week after week, in extreme conditions and without any stench or discomfort. And we're concentrating on just the socks? For crying out loud, I need a whole mohair wardrobe! Thanks for joining me for the Darren Marlar Radio Show today. Uh, if you want to uh, like me, poke me, tweet me, follow me, stalk me, you can find links to all of my social media at DarrenMarlar.com. That's D-A-R-R-E-N-M-A-R-L-A-R.com. Going to leave you today with this thought. Be nice to the nerds and the geeks in high school. You will be working for them in the future. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.